Never ask a woman her age. Never ask your Argentinian friend's grandpa why he speaks fluent German. And most importantly, never. Never ask me anything anime related in front of the baddies. Are you out of your damn mind, bro? Do you know the feeling of liking something, but the community of that something makes you ashamed of liking it? I don't give a shit. And there we go. The obvious answer that I have known. You've proven me right. <laughs> ah, look at you. Thinking you have all the power in the world. Thinking you could trick me. I've fallen for your illusion. And disappointing. So, you're gonna longingly gaze at me. Motherfuckers like this are the reason why people are still hiding the fact that they love anime in big 2024. And it's always the extremists that take up most of the spotlight. Being a low-key geek but the only people who share the same interests in real life are fucking insufferable weirdos allergic to showering gotta be the worst feeling of all time. Stop making things you like your personality. That's when something that is actually totally harmless becomes really fucking insufferable and corny. And anime is not the only genre of life that inhabits people like this. Hell no. Nah. There is a place that is even worse. Far worse. I'm talking about the gym. Chill, Joey Swole. Chill, chill, chill. Let me talk first. Let me tell you one thing before I go off. Go to the gym. Even if you can't do a single proper push-up go to the gym even if you can only bench press the bar there is no shame in trying to be the best version of yourself all i am referring to in the next couple of minutes is the cringe that might come with it i love the gym i love working out i love interacting with people what the fuck is your issue bro i don't like you in the fucking background you're not gonna be in the background you're fucking, better not be on special fucking fuck off you bitch I love being disciplined and improving the way my body looks. But damn, the gym is like your average Waffle House. All the bizarre creatures roaming the planet come together and meet at the gym. Just like your average Waffle House. Making the gym your personality has to be classified as a mental illness because motherfuckers be doing way too much at this point. Failure. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. I wasted just two days of my life sitting in a fucking, laying in a fucking bed and crying like a baby. God, I can use all that pain. I can use all that pain and turn into power. I become a giga chat. I think it's time. It's time to become a man. I can't do this. Winter Arc is gonna be devious. Y'all gonna see. Winter Arc motherfuckers need to realize that winter only lasts around three months. You ain't gonna do shit in three months. It's a nice start, but come on, bro. Winter Arc is not a double XP event. You need to work outside of winter too. This is real life, motherfucker, not an anime. You are at your local gym, not inside the hyperbolic time chamber. Don't make the gym your whole entire personality. It is super corny. I'm a failure. The only thing that these people talk about is the gym and protein and lifting heavy. Like, shut the fuck up. Can we talk about the political and economic state of the world right now? If this winter arc trend is something that gets you going in the gym and has a positive effect on you long term, long term, Great. Great! But please, stop taking this trend super seriously, bro. I promise you, it just looks super goofy. Stop shaving your head, bro. Actually, I would be all for it, because I want to see people improve. I want to see people be the best versions of themselves, but it's the same shit every single year. I've seen it before, and we will see it next year and in 10 years. The gym is super packed during winter time, which is cool. You are a human being just like me. You have every right to be at the gym. I am not more valuable than you, and you are not more valuable than me. But these winter arc people quit every single time after not looking like Broly within those three months. All this corny shit, all this social media reposts, all this money invested into buying protein powder and boosters and gym apparel, making the people that follow you on social media believe you are gonna look like Jack Hanma soon just for you to quit embarrassing that's why you need to move like the G in lasagna and if you don't know what that means you are not ready to move like the G in lasagna instead of talking so much lock the fuck in and work out and work out and work out until you acquire the physique you want instead of investing all that energy into 
talking about the winter arc and talking about how great it's gonna be shut the fuck up and work out bro it is not that complicated and unfortunately it's not only those winter arc cornballs that make the gym look cringe we also got the gym cells and that's an actual word i didn't make the shit up the phrase gym cells is typically associated with a male who takes the gym way too seriously and normally has nothing to show for it cell is associated with the word incel which is someone who isn't able to get laid gym cells will often spend countless hours and weekends in the gym trying to improve their physique in hope of attracting women all i can say is do not be this person i beg you i am on my knees do not not be this person be nonchalant okay. about going okay. to the gym be nonchalant about having a fit body be nonchalant about everything in life imagine how much cooler it would be if somebody saw your physique the first time in real life not expecting you to have a physique like that because you never post that shit on social media making it your personality you know it is just something that i have i'm just i'm just like that that's my sauce when your only purpose in life is to show off your gym progress on social media every single day ain't no one is gonna give a fuck even if you end up looking like broly let me tell you that because that's what people expect you to look like you made it your whole entire personality so it's not even cool anymore you sacrifice everything in life to look jacked obviously you're gonna look jacked and again if that's something that you want do it i don't give a fuck but if you expect validation specifically female validation you are probably not gonna get it because you have been lifting so much you don't even know how to talk to females anymore and we all want validation don't even come at me with some bullshit saying oh we do it for ourselves because that's only partially true humans thirst for validation we have always been like this and we will always be like that don't come at me saying you don't need validation we all want validation it's great sorry for being real all i can say is if you want success move like the g in lasagna very angry while trying to strangle my balls wipe my ass with some butter while scraping shit on the wall but honestly overall i like popping an out of 